What's going on everyone? Cameron Blaze here welcoming you to our second and third brawl for our match. Now I know in the last video that I said I would be live comming these, but um, I did live com this one and it was more of a, it kind of crashed throughout halfway through it. And then I just didn't feel like live comming the third one. I was early in the morning, I think. Um, and it was just not like, it was just not my uh, thing that time. But um, yeah, we are here for our second and third match. We are currently 1-0. Plus four, we just need to win one more match, and we're basically guaranteed in. Um, and we're going up against a really, really good opponent, Eon. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Uh, he has a very, very threatening team. Um, of course, you know we can see the big threats already, like the Gothitelle, the um, Scolipede, and the Thunder Side. I'm pretty sure he has Mix Swampert. I'm about to go over his team. Um, he just has a really threatening team. Um, and Alone Luck was actually really tricky for me to um, prep for. So, to go over the team that he has, he has a combination of some looming threats, such as Mega Medicham, Pelipper, Thundersai, Gothitelle, Malolomuk, Kabutops, Skullheed, and Gorbis. And he has three Z users and Kabutops, Skullheed, and Gorbis, so we need to watch out for that. Um, none of them can use Z status, so there's that. Um, Mons, I expected him, I was 100% sure he was going to bring the Mega Medicham, M M Pelipper, um, Thundersai and Alola Muck. Skullipede was on the fence, and then I knew he'd either bring Kabutops or Gorbis. So, um, we do kind of nail it. Um, the, uh, I knew the, um, it was just kind of like, I'm so, I'm super surprised he did not bring Mega Mega Chan. That thing gives me so much issues. Um, just defensive wise. So, my plan was to actually out offense him. And the way we out offense him, starting up, is our Rey Mysterio, Halucha, Hold Me Electric Seed Unburn, Acrobatics, High Jump Kick, Thunder Punch, and Swords Dance. With um, almost max HP 204, um, max attack adamant 52 in speed. This allows us to outspeed his entire team. Um, I think it outspeeds. No, it outspeeds something. I think it's Scar. It's something Scarf. Um, Thunder Size Scarf, yeah. Um, just really threatening Mon, and if we can get a Swords Dance up, we basically win the game, so that's gonna be the plan. Up next, uh, we have our type of Coco holding the Electrium Z with Thunderbolt, Wild Charge, Volt Switch, and Dazzling Gleam. Uh, the reason we have the Wild Charge there is if he's Assault Vested, Max Special Defense, Muck, Thunderbolt into Z Wild Charge will kill him, and that is what we want to do. We have, um, 240 in speed, uh, 252 Special Attack, 16 Attack, Rash in Nature. Uh, with Thunderbolt, Wild Charge, Volt Switch, and Dazzling Gleam, as I said. So, uh, you know, triple electric spam with Dazzling Gleam hits literally everything on his team. He has no resistance to that, so we're just going to roll with it. Um, up next, we have our Keldeo. Really cool Keldeo set this week. Rocking the um, max attack, a lot of speed, Jolly Nature, 64 in HP. Wakonberry with a Sword Stance, Close Combat, Stone Edge, and Aqua Tail. Um, I was realizing that actually a Sword Stance, if we can get a Sword Stance or maybe somehow two up, uh, Keldeo can just sweep his team. Uh, he doesn't have really good, like, I know a Specs version would have been really cool, but I was actually trying to spice things up. I wanted to be, like, a lot of fun sets. And this set's fun, and it actually can work. So, uh, we're just gonna roll with it. Um, Keldy Ho, as always. Gutter Escavapa, Grok in a cool set as well. A cool, cool set, too, would be a Jewel Run, Mega Horn, Iron Head Pursuit, Max HP, Max Attack, with the Rocky Helm. Rocky Helmet, it's for the Mega Meta Champ. I know he could carry Fire Punch, but then he'd have like three moves syndrome. It's basically we swap in them fake outs and then pursuit, assuming he'd swap out or maybe something else. I don't know. Um, like I said, Mega Meta Champ gave my team a lot of problems, so I'd need as much chip damage as possible. And this was my way of getting chip damage, was Rocky Helmet with this Cavalier. Um, pursuit also hits things like Off the Tail, so does the Mega Horn. So an Iron Head is just pretty good all around. Um, it's really hard, you know, good stuff. Uh, up next, we have our Mega Aerodactyl rocking 136 speed Jolly, max attack 2, I mean 120 in the HP, Stone Edge, Aerial Ace, Earthquake, and Thunder Fang. Um, again, hits the majority of his team, really late game sweeper and great wall breaker. Uh, this thing's very underrated. Um, Aerial Ace, just great stab. Thunder Fang for the Pelipper, I bought, um, of course, and Gorbis and Kabutops, but we'd probably Earthquake. No, nah, I think Thunder Fang does more, because Tough Claws. Um, not that it matters, he didn't bring Kaboot Tops, but um, just hits very, very hard. Um, just, you know, real good Mon. And last but not least, we have our Tyson, the Necrozma, holding the leftovers with the Totemai Sword Dance, Earthquake, Psycho Cut. Um, Dual Dance and Necrozma has such a phenomenal matchup this week. All we need to do is get a Sword Dance, maybe two, and then it's Totemize, and it's over. Um, things we can set up on the Pelipper, we can set up on the uh, 
Gothito if it's not Trick. Um, we can set up on the uh, Kabutops a little bit if it's not in rain or set up. Um, so yeah, that's the team we are rocking with for the first battle. Um, as you can see, he does again Spring the Skullpeed, Thundersai, Gothitelle, Muck, um, the Pelipper, and the Gorbis. So right away we see no hazard removal, so I kind of wish I brought something to set hazards. And he brings his Skullpeed, so I'm fearing like Spike's lead. Spike's lead would be pretty bad, so um, we're going to hit normal. We're going to hit good luck to my minion, and we are going to hit the play button. So I'm going to lead my Aerodactyl in case he leads Skullipede. And I'm going to go straight for this Aerial Ace here because it's going to actually fist him. And he's going to protect, so he's going to scout out what we're going to do and get the speed boost. And I'm kind of going to scout out for a Aquatel right here, and I think I go Escavalier as he goes Gothitelle. So I um, kind of wish I stayed in, kind of not, but Escavalier does come in. And I'm going to click Pursuit, predicting him to swap, but he actually has the Hidden Power Fire, and I realize that he's actually a kind of offensive set, but then based on that damage, um, I realize he's actually uh, very defensive. So the set I came out to be was actually max HP, max defense, basically, with a choice specs. So really, really uh, scary, because <laughs> this thing hits very, very, it's just like annoying. So he's going to swap right here. I could have gone for it again. I wish I did, but I go for Megahorn here, predicting him to either trick or something, because I, not, not trick, because I didn't know what set he was. And he's going to Scald and kill me, because I actually did not have a great swap into this thing, because I didn't want Keldeo getting burned. But I'm going to go Tapu Koko right here, because he has no electric resist. And he's going to go into his Muck right here. And my Thunderbolt is going to do a clean 50%, but um, it's actually a roll, and he's Black Sludge. And I don't want to take Wild Charge Recoil, so I am just going to pop the Z Wild Charge right here. Um, anything he would have swapped in would have died. So, I mean, if he was going to preserve it, there, that was his only chance. He's going to go out into Skullpeed right here. And I'm going to go for Volt Switch, and I should have clicked Wild Charge right there because I would have killed him. And this is actually going to be a really important turn because he's going to go for the Poison Jab. And um, instead of, because I thought he would have, if he had Aquatel, I thought he would have gone for it. But he's going to go for Aquatel right here and knock my Aerodactyl out. So if I clicked Wild Charge or Thunderbolt, I could have killed him. And this isn't looking too great, but I do get to go out into Keldeo. And he's going to protect, and I wish I Swords Dance right there. Dude, if I would have Swords Dance, I went for Aquatel because it just hits the majority of his team. Um, he's going to get a speed boost, and we have one more turn in rain. He's going to swap on out into his Gothitelle as I go for the Stone Edge, actually predicting Pelipper. But, um, you know, it happens. Knowing I can take one hit, I'm going to go for the Sword Stance because I'm trapped, and I need to get this thing as hard as possible. And he gets basically a max roll, which, you know, happens. Aqua's going to come off, and it's going to do literally nothing because he is defensive. But he's locked into Psychic, so that means I do get to go into my Necrozma and set up. We're down 5-3, but this is not over, boys. I do go into my Necrozma, and I'm going to set up the Atomize, and he's going to go out into his Skull Team. So I get the Atomize off. We're at plus 2, and we've become so nimble. And he's going to double out into his Gothitelle as I set up the Sword Stance. No, I'll go for Psycho Cut. Um, I set up the Sword Stance this turn, knowing that if he tricks me, it's possibly a... Like, it's not not that bad. So he does trick me, he tricks, tricks me choice specs, but look, we were not locked in because we did move first. And I'm going to lock myself into Psycho Cut and try to win this game. So I do get the Psycho Cut off. We're at plus two and stab, so I'm thinking, what are the chances he brings max defense Pelipper? Uh, but he does bring max defense Pelipper. That's max HP, max defense. And he's going to go for U-turn, and it's going to do literally nothing. And he's going to go out into his Gorbis. Now, the thing is, uh, I sped prep this thing to out to be plus two Gorbis at plus two, and he's going to go for Shell Smash. So right here, I thought I actually won the game because he Shell Smashed. I was like, there's literally no chance of me losing this game unless somehow I miss Psycho Cut. But we're actually going to find out that he is Swift Swim, and I forget this thing gets Swift Swim, and that is a huge misprep on my part because this thing now outspeeds and outcoes everything I have. He's just going to click Hydro Pump. Um, if I had Protect, I could have stalled out one more turn of rain and then one with Hagucha, but I didn't have Protect. If I had Protect on Hagucha, I would have won this game. But he is going to win 4-0 right here, so we are now 1-1 one and one in a must-win battle up next. And I was a little nervous, I'm not going to lie. Um, the matchup wasn't there, but I was very confident in myself. Um, by the way, this game was very, very good. Well placed, Eon, if you're watching this. Um, really good prep. Um, big misplays on my part were letting Aerodactyl go down. And not, I mean, that's the only one I don't like, is me not clicking, me not doubling out into Keldeo, because I almost did. But I was like, you would have clicked Aquatel earlier, but it was a good, it was a good bluff. Um, so, yeah, we're going to move right on. And we're on our second game against the one and only African Goku. Uh, really cool guy. Um, talked with him just a little bit. Not too much, just a little though. 
and his team consists of Jirachi Togekiss, Mega Aerodactyl, Amoongus, Alolan Persian as a Super Z user, Rotom Wash, Weezing, and Umbreon. Um, and yeah, so he brings his Amoongus, his Mega Aerodactyl, his Weezing, his Jirachi, his Rotom Wash, and his Alolan Persian. So we need to watch out for them Z moves. Um, to go over the team that I brought, um, where is it? Right there. Right there. Up first, as always, we got our man Tapu Koko. And we are rocking the Flyneam Z with Thunderbolt, Brave Bird, Volt Switch, and Dazzling Gleam. Because most of the time, 9 times out of 10, Thunderbolt into Z Brave Bird with the set will kill an Amoongus. Rocking 120 in the attack, 252 in the special attack, 136 speed, naive nature. So this allows us to speed his entire team, and as well as hit as hard as we can. As, we want, as we're mainly going to use our special attack this match, so... He has uh, no ground type to absorb this Volt Switch, so that's why we're running Volt Switch this week. And yeah, um, up next we're running Halucha, running basically the exact same set as last time, except we're running 248 HP, max attack, and 4 in each defenses. The Adamant Nature, we literally outspeed his entire team at plus 2, there's nothing he can outspeed us with, because his team is really slow. Swords Anti Jump Kick Acrobatic Zen Head, but once this thing sets, like even we don't even need to set up, we can actually just tear through his team with this thing if it's weakened. But of course, setup is very nice. Um, Halucha again, Electric Seed Unburden, it's gonna work sooner or later. <laughs> Up next, we have an Okaberia Scavalier with the Iron Head Toxic Drill Run Aerial Ace. Um, this allows us to wear down some of his mods, such as the um, Rotom Wash in case he has HP Fire, Umbreon if we can Toxic that thing, that'd be nice. Same thing with Togekiss and Mega Aerodactyl. We can um, all take hits and fit relatively well from all those mods, with, especially with the Okaberry. And then getting off a Toxic or a big hit would be very, very nice. Uh, we're bringing Serena this week, my girl Caroline, with the um, Assault Vest, and I just realized I ran Leaf Guard. Jesus, God, thank God that did not. I mean, he has no priority, except for Fake Out Amoongus. I mean, Fake Out Persian and E-Speed Togekiss. But, um, good thing I thought I clicked Queenly Majesty. <laughs> thank God that didn't happen. But we had the Trop Kick, Rapid Spin, U-Turn, High Jump Kick. Assault Vest allows us to hit a lot of, um, live a lot of hits. Running enough speed to outspeed, I believe, No Speed Rotom. Umbreon and Weezing. I think what we did, yeah, no speed Rotom is what we uh, sped crept. Um, Trop kicks and be doing a lot of damage. High, high jump kicks there for the Umbreon as well as the uh, Alolan Persian. Um, you know, U-turn for pivoting purposes and Rapid Spin because I don't want him setting up Toxic Spikes against my team. That'd be very, very annoying. Um, yeah, so up next we have our Mega Aerodactyl, Taunt, Stealth Rocks, Stone Edge, and Earthquake. Taunt's there for things like... Uh, lead wheezing um we can taunt it from setting up toxic spikes as well as um a brion from wish protecting and we got the stone edge and earthquake just for uh general coverage because it hits the majority of his team uh stealth Ox is going to be very helpful this match we can have to wear down things like tojikis mega aerodactyl and his team's really pivoty with parting shot alone persian volt switch um Rotom wash and u-turn jirachi so i want to and baton pass on tojikis so i really want to wear down his team really quick like and yeah there's that and last but not least we have yet another setup in the Necrozma I really love the setup in the Necrozma I want it to work rocking sub rock polish x scissor psycho cut with the weakness policy um basically I wanted to bring a fun mon because I'm just trying to have as much fun as I can and while well, literally defensive Necrozma with um defensive Necrozma would be great except I knew he was beating Umbreon so I couldn't bring stored power um, I was going to bring a, um, uh, what's it called? One with HP fighting, stored power, calm mind, weakness policy, and light moonlight, but it can't have HP fighting, and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to have fun, and yeah, that's how this set happened. So Tyson, you're going to do great, buddy, and we're going to do great, hopefully. <laughs> um, again, looking at his team, I think I lead Aerodactyl, so let's see what I do. Uh, I actually leave Tapu Koko because I threaten out a lot of his mons. And he's going to lead with Jirachi, so we're going to see right away if this thing's Choice Scarfed, and it in fact is. So we're going to slow this down, as I actually go for the Volt Switch. So I get some big damage off, and I'm going to go out into my man Necrozma and try to set up a substitute here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Predicting a Will-O-Wisp, because I didn't see any leftovers, I didn't know what kind of set this was. He's going to Hydro Pump and break my sub, so I'm just going to pull a double straight out into my girl Caroline. And she is actually going to miss a Hydro Pump, which it doesn't really matter in my mind because we would have eaten it like it was no big deal. But I do go for U-Turn right here knowing that he's going to swap, and Amoongus takes a good chunk from that. So I am going to go out into my Necrozma knowing I can actually set up a substitute against this thing. 
um, except for I go straight for the cycle cut and I get a crit, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, it did kind of, I don't think it mattered. Um, it is a, what's it called? Um, I'm, gonna miss, but I'm just going to show off my set because I just know I'm going to die here. Here, So I'm going for the X scissor. It does literally nothing. So he's just going to spam Iron Head until I die. But I'm actually going to preserve my Necrozma because I realized I could use it for the Weezing. And I'm going on to Escavalier and we're going to take the Iron Head pretty fairly bad actually. But he's going to pivot out and I'm predicting the Rotomosh or Persian but he goes Weezing on my Toxic. Really unfortunate. But I am going to pull a swap out into my Tapu Koko because I know I can hit this thing very, very hard. It's a very risky swap as he goes for Flamethrower. It does a good chunk because we are naive nature. Um, knowing he can't take the Thunderbolt, he's going to pivot out into his Rotom. And the Rotom doesn't even take the Thunderbolt. It's really, really bad. <laughs> he's going to go out into his Jirachi here. And I know an Iron Head is coming. So I'm going to pivot out and go into my Escavalier to take the hit. As he goes for the Iron Head. Um, and I'm going to go for the Drill Runner here, hoping I don't get flinched, and luckily we do not. And I hit him with the Iron Head. I actually predicted him to swap right there, predicting my Drill Run. But he's going to go for Iron Head again, and thank the Lord we do not get <laughs> we don't get flinched. I hate Jirachi. It's so annoying to deal with. Um, we are a well-trained Escavalier, so he's going to go out into his Aerodactyl. And knowing I'm going to die to whatever he goes for, he's going to go for Earthquake. Um, I just had to stack him right there. Luckily, I go out into Serena. I literally live any hit. Aerial Ace, nothing. Uh, we do go for the Tropic, and we will lower his attack. Luckily, this is the chip damage we needed for Halucha to just basically win. So, I'm basically going to try to set up a Halucha sweep right here by going out into my Tapu Koko. Knowing that he's going to probably swap. He might think we're... I don't know why he actually swapped. I was trying to sack. But um, Persian's going to take a good chunk right there. And he's going... I'm just going to show up. Not choice. I don't know, again, why he swapped his Aerodactyl. Maybe he didn't think it would kill. But he's going to go out into the set Aerodactyl, and for some reason he goes for Stone Edge. Well, this is a really big misplay in my mind, because, I mean, I already had the game one with Halucha, because I do have the Zen Headbutt. Um, it's really just really unfortunate that that had to happen. So um, he's going to go for Sludge Bomb and kill me, and I'm like, I'm going to give my man Necrozma a kill. Even though I, I wanted to show off the Halucha, I want to give my man Necrozma a kill. I'm going to go for the Cycle Cut, and we get a crit for good luck, so... We do win game number three, and that means we are going to bracket play. And I am very hyped for bracket play, and I promise with almost everything I have, unless I legit can't, I'm going to try to live comp. And I don't know if it'll make a difference, but I just want you guys to like know my thought process as I go. But um, this was a really good battle. Necrozma, I mean, Necrozma got like, what, two kills? And they were all great kills. Um, shout out to Escavalier for killing the Jirachi. <laughs> And Halucha, you would have done great if you hit the field. I know you would have. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the bracket play. And, um, yeah, round of 64.